Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a static IP address on your PlayStation 4 to improve your connection quality. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So there are some advantages of setting up a static IP address on your PlayStation 4. You can get a more reliable connection with less lapses, possible quicker download speeds. Also if you have multiple devices on your home network, having a static IP address may allow you to have a more reliable connection quality. And also if you're going to be doing any kind of port forwarding with your router, you're going to want to have a static IP address on your PlayStation 4. So a static IP address means it's one IP address that stays the same versus a dynamic IP address which will change over time. So knowing this, let's go ahead and change my IP address on my PlayStation 4 to a static IP. So I'm on the home screen right now. Let's go to the top bar and then go all the way to the right to settings. Then go down to network. So now that we're under the network settings, let's go to view connection status. And we're going to get a bunch of numbers on the right hand side, but the numbers that we want to be aware of are the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Go ahead and write those three down. Once you have those written down, otherwise just go ahead and take a picture of those on your cell phone. Once we have that captured, let's go back, then go to set up internet connection and choose the connection type that you're already using. So I'm using LAN. Let's go to LAN. Instead of going to easy, go down to custom and go to manual. And type in your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. However, for your IP address, don't type in your IP address exactly the same. The last number you will want to change from any number from 2 to 255. For example, so you go ahead and you type in the first three numbers in the series. And then for your last number, pretend it's a six. You will want to choose a number between two and 255. And I recommend if it's just six, go ahead and just increase it by a hundred. So if it's six, put a zero in front of the six and put a one. So it's dot 106 instead of dot six and press R2 and done, and type in the rest of the IP address exactly the same. Same thing for the subnet mask, type that in exactly the same. Then for the default gateway, type that in exactly the same. But for the primary DNS, let's go ahead and connect to the public DNS server for Google. And this is very easy to connect to. Just type in 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And for secondary DNS, type in 8.8.4.4, press R2 and done, and then go to the next screen. Then for your MTU settings, just keep this at automatic. Proxy server, set that to do not use. Now it's going to test your internet connection, and it's going to give you a download and upload speed. And mine is pretty good right now. So our static IP address is now successfully on our PlayStation 4. We can go back to view connection status and see that it's on our PlayStation 4 just to verify it. And at the top now, under IP address settings, it will say your new IP address. And under IP address settings, it will say manual instead of automatic. Now, if you do any kind of port forwarding on your PC, go ahead and write down your new IP address. So hopefully your connection quality is improved on your PlayStation 4 now. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on your 6 Studios.